Bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Assalamu alaykum everyone Alright, so let's talk about the five isms So there's the word abun, which means father Yes Abun means? Father Father You can look straight ahead, Maria Look, okay. you can look over here you can Look over here ah. It's right there, right there Abun means father mm -hmm. Akhun means brother Yes Okay uh, Then Dhu uh, We'll do that last Um then we'll do uh, famun means mouth. Mm, yeah. Okay. And uh, hamun means uh, brother in law. Brother. Uh, okay. okay. And it's also called hamun. Uh, but anyway. And then thu mm -hmm. means possessor of. Mm. Now these are five weird words. Yeah. And I noticed I didn't make the last one with a tenween because it doesn't mm. occur mm. without it. But anyway, let's go through them a little bit. Abun. Ahun, Famun, Hamun, and Dhu. Yeah. Abun means what? Father. Ahun means what? Brother. A brother. A brother. Famun means what? Mouth. 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 Hamun means what? Um. Brother-in-law. 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 Yeah. Brother mm -hmm. Okay. And Dhu. Dhu, uh, possessor of. Possessor of. Possessor of. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, these words are considered. Th this is their name. From now on, you will have to know their name. Mm -hmm. They're called Asma Hamsa. Asma Hamsa. Yeah. Asma Hamsa. Asma Hamsa. Okay. Um, Asma Hamsa. Hamsa means Arabic five. Mm, okay. Asma Hamsa, the five isms. The five isms. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are the gang of five. Mm -hmm. what words. Let's go back to them. Let's look at Abun. Uh, Abun mm -hmm. Rafa. Aban Nasib. Abin Jar. Okay. Abun Aban Abin. Mm -hmm. But we just we don't just do Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin. What do we do next after that? Muslimun, Muslimani, Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini, Muslimaini. Muslimin. Now these guys get weird when you get two. Mm -hmm. So instead of saying Abani, Abaini, Abaini, mm -hmm. the Arabic is Abawani. Abawani. Abawaini. Abawaini. Mm -hmm. So what did they add to it? Wow. Oh, wow. You just have to remember that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. While we're at it. Akhun. Akhan. Akhan. And Akhin. And the pair will be. Akhawani. 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 And Akha. Waini. Okay. So, akhun, akhan, akhin, akhawani, akhawaini, akhawaini. So, what did they get? What did they add to both of these? Wow. Okay. And then the plural is aba un, aba an, and aba in. That's a broken plural. Yeah. Broken plural means instead of having a combination. Mm -hmm. You make a weird new word, yeah. and this is something we did a long time ago. If it looks, if it's plural because of meaning, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have any combinations at the end, mm -hmm. it's a broken plural. Broken plural okay, yeah. so aba un, aba an, and aba, and that's the plural. Okay, in the first line it used to be abun, mm -hmm. aban, abin. Yeah. Second line was abawani, abawaini, abawaini. Mm -hmm. But in the last line, the a uh becomes long. So mm -hmm. what do we say? Aba wa aba un aba un not aba un aba un aba un mm -hmm. aba un nasub aba an aba an aba an aba in your turn that means father yes a father rafa a father nasub a father jar yeah both parents abawani mm -hmm. both parents in rafa nasub and jar okay. Aba'un, fathers. This yeah. is also used in the Quran for forefathers. Mm -hmm. You know, fathers, 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 yeah. fathers ancestors. Mm -hmm. Aba'un, Aba'an, and? Aba'in. Aba'in. Akhun. Akhun, Akhan, Akhin. Akhawani, Akhawaini, Akhawaini. Okay. Ikhwatun. Ikhwatan. 
اخوتن 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 a weird new word because broken plurals are weird the arabs made them a long time ago mm -hmm. we just follow what they said yeah okay so اخوتن 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 okay by the way fathers is used in classical arabic in ancient times to talk about uncles grandparents dad stepdad you name it mm -hmm. the elders also can be called abba oh, okay. also in arabic if somebody took care of you they you can also call them ab mm, okay. so if somebody was raising someone yeah and even if they weren't their dad they mm -hmm. can still call them ab oh. okay so ab has a few meanings and also mm -hmm. you know how in because we live in the world of Marvel and DC Comics and other superheroes, etc. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Don't front. Um, <laughs> so you can have things like Spider Man or Iron Man or you know yeah. whatever man. Not that I read any comics. No, he doesn't. He's, mm -hmm. he's All I read is the textbook. Yes, this this textbook is mashallah. Okay, so when you have like man, you know something man, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, like you know when you're done with all of this, you'll be grammar man. <laughs> like you know, so, yes. Yeah. So, you know, and self woman. <laughs> no man. <laughs> so, anyway, in in Arabic, instead of calling somebody, you know, something man, mm -hmm. when something someone's associated with something, mm -hmm. then they call them Abu something. Oh, okay. So if somebody like the Prophet like, would some one time find Ali radiAllahu anhu lying in the dirt. Mm -hmm. And he said, Ya Aba Turab, father of dirt. Mm. Father of dirt means what? Basically, at that point, he was dirt man. <laughs> <laughs> so he called him Aba Turab. Yeah. Uh, similarly, uh, you know, the name Abu Huraira became his name, mm -hmm. the Sahabi, because he was always surrounded by cats. Yeah. So he basically started getting called Cat Man, uh -huh. or literally father of cats. Mm -hmm. So Abu Huraira. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Abu was used for nicknames, and it doesn't have to be that your child is going to get mentioned after that. Mm -hmm. It could be your, you know, like um, uh, yeah, yeah, Abu Jahl mm -hmm. is called Abu Jahl because he was so ignorant that he became ignorance man. <laughs> so it was Abu Jahl. Yeah. Right? That became his horrible nickname. Yeah. Uh, Abu Lahab. Uh, Lahab actually means a red fire. Mm. You know, like fire can turn red, stoking red. Yeah. He had red hair. Oh, okay. So he looked like like a Dragon Ball Z character type red hair situation on top of his head. Mm -hmm. So they called him Fireman. Fire. So <laughs> that became Fire Father of the Flame, Abu Lahab. Is that where we got fire people? Like uh, firemen? Fireman? No, no, we didn't, I don't know where we got those from. But the point is, do you understand that Abu is used not just for dad, but also used for these nicknames? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, and is that point clear to everybody? Why, why Abu and not Abba? Well, you can use Rafa Nasab or Jal. You can find, for example, Abu Lahab, Aba Lahab, or Abi, Abi Lahab. But we'll get to that in a second. Anyway, uh, let's go back to, and these are the only two full ones I want you to know for now. Okay. Very, so Abu and Aba and Abin, now we're going to make them light. Uh -huh. Okay? So Abu is wrong. They say Abu. Uh -huh. Abu, and then Aba, and then Abi. Abi. Okay, mm -hmm. that's if you want to add a mudaf to them, you make them light, but you don't say Abu, you say Abu, Aba, uh, Abi. Mm -hmm. So like the Sahabi's name, Abu Bakr, mm -hmm. there's three ways of saying his name. The Rafa way of saying his name is Abu Bakr. Mm -hmm. The Nasab way of saying his name is Aba Bakr. Mm -hmm. And the Jar way of saying his name is Abi Bakr. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so if a hadith says, An Abi Bakrin radiallahu anhu, yeah. Right, narrated Abu Bakr by Abu Bakr because An is a harf of Jar, mm -hmm. so we couldn't say An Abu Bakr yeah. or An Aba Bakr. We have to say An Abi yeah. Bakr. Yeah. When you call somebody, then and if they're if you when you call someone and they're a mudaf, mm -hmm. okay, like Rasulullah is a mudaf, right? Yeah. When you call somebody and they're a mudaf, mm -hmm. then you have to make them nasub. Yeah. So you cannot say Ya Rasulullah. You have to say Ya Rasulallah. Mm -hmm. The, the la, yeah. right? It became nasab. So if you wanted to call Abu Bakr, you wouldn't say Ya Abu Bakr, that would be wrong. Mm -hmm. You would say Ya Aba Bakr. Mm -hmm. Ya Aba. Aba Bakr. Ya Aba Turab. Ya Aba Huraira. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you're calling them, then they become Aba. Yeah. Uh, uh, Aba something. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if you're, if you're, uh, if they're Jar, they're Abi, and if they're Rafa, they're Abu. That's when they are a Mudaf. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for example, 
you can say in Arabic, Abu Hu. Abu Hu. Who is an attached pronoun? You remember, guys? Mm -hmm. What's who originally from? What's the word? Hua. Good. And hua means what, Maria? He. Right. So Abu Hu becomes a mudaf and mudafile. Because mm -hmm. attached pronouns can only be nasab or jar. Yeah. Because they're attached to a mudaf, they're a mudafile. They're jar. His father. Mm -hmm. yeah. His father. Mm -hmm. So the rafat way of saying his father is Abu Hu. Okay. And the nasab way of saying his father is Abahu. Mm -hmm. Simple. Yeah. But the jar way of saying his father is not Abihu. It's Abihi because it sounds cooler that way. Remember yeah. who can sometimes sound he? Mm -hmm. So the rafa is Abuhu, nasab is Abahu, jar is Abihi. Abihi. Right? So if I said, for example, uh, her father, I would say Abuha, mm -hmm. Abaha, mm -hmm. and Abihi. Abiha. Abiha. Well, has doesn't yeah. change, mm -hmm. right? That's her father. Yeah. If I said um, our father, Abuna, mm -hmm. our Nahnu becomes now, right? Yeah. Abuna, our father. What's the Nasa way of saying our father? Abu, uh, Abuna. When no. you when you make when you call them, well, mm -hmm. well, no, when you make it Nasa, Abu becomes what? What's the Nasa version of Abu? Abu, Abu. Abba. Good. Abba. Ab right, Abba. So what's Abba. it going to be? Abana. Abba. Abana, okay. And then what's the general version going to be? Abina. Right, Abina. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm almost done giving my lectures on Surah Yusuf. Mm -hmm. And in Surah Yusuf, you find inna abana lafi walalim mubin. Lafi walalim mubinin. Inna is a half of nasab. Yeah. That's why, Maryam, stay with me. Inna is a half of nasab. That's why ab became aba. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it would have been Abu. Yeah. Right? So, mm -hmm. inna abana, certainly our father. Yeah. Lafi truly is, fi is a harf of jar. Yeah. So, what happened to Bolal? It became jar. Yeah. And then both properties match up. Bolalin and Mubinin match up. So, yeah. they're noun adjective. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, uh, you know, la yusufu wa akhuhu ahabbu ila. Ila is a harf of what? Ila. Harf of sadness? Ila. <laughs> Half of forgetfulness? No. It's not in there? Yeah, go on. You stopped. You said, Oh no, because you looked at my face and you're like, oh, I didn't get validation, so I'll stop. No, Arabic is not on my face. So, Batak, finish it. Half of? Jar. The Yusufu wa akhuhu ahabu ila abina. To our father, but this time instead of Abu, it was Abi. Okay. Yeah. Now here's the tricky one. What's the word for? What's the attached version of Anna? Anna means I. What's the attached version? Anna. Um, oh, Anna. Uh, ni or E. Right. Ni or e. e. Here's the crazy thing that happens with Abu. I messed up here. Okay. You. Uh, if I want to say my father, you say Abi. Mm -hmm. Abi. Yeah. Uh, the rafa version is Abi. The nasab version is Abi. Mm -hmm. The jar version is Abi. Abi. Once you add e, mm -hmm. then actually it just means my father it could be rafa nasab or jar. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing with adding e; it makes the word before it basically non-flexible. So, mm -hmm. for example, it used to be kitab. Kitabu is a mudaf, mm -hmm. and it's rafa. Yeah. Kitaba. Is a mudaf and it's mm -hmm. nasab. Yeah. Kitabi is a mudaf and it's jar, like mm -hmm. no aliflam, right? Yeah. But if I add ya to them, mm -hmm. then any version you want, the answer is kitabi. Mm -hmm. Even so, kitab, the kitab part could have been rafa, nasab, or jar. Yeah. It's haraka got eaten up by the e. Because oh, okay. the Arabs don't want to say kitabui. Oh, okay. They're just, they're like, ui, ew. Yeah. So just kill that last haraka and just say what? Kitabi. Kitabi. So a grammar student will have to know enough about the rest of the sentence mm -hmm. to figure out is this kitabi rafa or nasab or jab. jab. Okay. In Bangla, people, many people say abu. That's great. That's really great. Let me tell you why it's great. Because in Arabic, abun means father. father yes. And abun means grass. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, because my kids call me Abba, uh -huh. which is like wa Abba Allah says fruits and grass, right? Yeah. So <laughs> I can say Abba, Abba. I'm like, yes, yes, you cow, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so congratulations. Your kids also call you, or you call your parents. Abba, that's okay because it's not you're not saying it in Arabic, you're saying it in another language. Yeah. In many languages, you know, Papa, Abba, Baba, Daddy, whatever you call it. <laughs> like okay. Okay, whatever works for you. Like Grass. Get you know. it in accent to daddy. <laughs> yeah, you have to say it like <laughs> Yeah, you can't you gotta say daddy, you say daddy. Like you have to you have to own it. Yeah. Um, Go ahead, Jawad. Back on the word ikhwa. Mm. Uh, the question was can we consider this word feminine because of the time of Uta? It's really great that you asked a question about Ikhwa because I was talking about Ab, student. Because I wasn't coming to Ikhwa, but since you want me to come to Ikhwa before I'm done talking about Ab, um, I won't. Did I allow you Abi into the Tabat Yada Abi Lahat? Yeah, look, let's let's do that. Tabat. I'm great. You, I'm glad you brought that up. Tabat Yada Abi. Lahabin wa tabba. That's that's the words, right? Now let's go back to some of our old training. Tabbat. Is that an ism? Past tense, present tense, or command? Those are the four options, remember? Mm -hmm. Ism, past tense, present tense, or command. Is it an ism? No, because no. it has a sukun. Good. Can't ism be... is you're done with that. Okay. Past tense. What do you think? No, because it matches any of the sounds in the past tense. Really? What are the sounds in the past tense? Um, now, if you say it doesn't match, you should know what it is so um, you don't match it. Okay. Huwa nasara. Huwa nasara, huma nasara. Look at the word. Don't look at the table because you have to match it not with the table. You have to match it okay. with that word. Yeah. Huwa nasara, huma nasara, hum nasaru, hiya nasarat, huma nasarat. Wait, did you match it? No. Say hiya again. Hiya nasarat. Now say that word again. That, yeah. Oh, that matches. That does match? Yeah. You know why you didn't match it? Because I told you not to match with the table. Yeah. What were you doing? Looking at the table. Yeah. So you weren't looking at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So the point isn't that you can recite it. Mm -hmm. The point is you got to use it. Yeah. You can't use it until you look at the question at hand. So the but matches with? The present tense. Well, the past tense. Past tense. Yes. It matches with the past, past tense. tense. Okay. See. Actually means... She was destroyed. The but by itself means what? She, she was, was destroyed. destroyed. Now, yadun means hand. Mm -hmm. Yadun means what? Hand. hand. How do you say two hands? If muslimun means a muslim and muslimani means two muslims. Yadani. Right. Yadun, yadan, yadin. Yadani. Yadani, yadani. Yadani, yadani, yadani. Okay. So yadani would be two rafa. If I wanted to make yadani a mudaf, mm -hmm. what are the things I do to a mudaf to make it a mudaf? Uh, you have to have light. It has to be light, no al. Yeah. Right. So how do I do that to yadani? Yada. You got to take away the uh, extra nun. So now I look at the ayah and I see yada, mm -hmm. which means this might be a mudaf. mudaf. If this is a mudaf, the next word better be jar. Mm -hmm. Well, the rafa version of abu is abu, mm -hmm. the nasab is aba, and the jar is abi. So that's definitely a mudafile. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So yada is mudaf, mm -hmm. and abi is mudafile. Yeah. But abi also looks light. Mm -hmm. No al. Yeah. Which means it might also be a mudafile. A mudaf, which has its own. Mudafile. Does lahabin have yes. a jar? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yada is mudaf. Abi is mudafile. Abi is mudaf and lahabin is mudafile. What does yad mean again? Uh, she was uh, hand. hand. What does yada then mean? Uh, both hands. Both hands of, because of goes in between, right? Mm -hmm. Both hands of, uh, of the of father, father of, of lahab. lahab. Yeah. The father of a flame, mm -hmm. which is Abu Lahab, you can say his name, right? Yeah. The both hands of Abu Lahab. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Let's go back. Is the word tabbat he or she, this past tense, right? Mm -hmm. Huwa nasara and mm -hmm. hiya nasarat. Mm -hmm. So it matches with tabbat. But, yeah. Okay. Is this the kind of version where you could have an outside door? Uh, yeah. 
Because when you have an outside doer, if I remind you, mm -hmm. an outside doer only happens with a fi'il when that fi'il is the huwa version or the hiya version. version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the only time it happens. Yeah. And the conditions for an outside doer are it comes after and it's rafa. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And when you find an outside doer, then the inside doer, which is she, gets replaced. Yeah. She literally gets destroyed. And somebody else takes the place. Yeah. Okay. Now, is yada after and rafa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is after. Yeah. And we did say that it's too rafa. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't she was destroyed. He it's was destroyed. Both wow. hands of Abu Lahab mm -hmm. were destroyed. Abu Lahab. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's why Abi was used in that ayah. Mm -hmm. okay. Both hands were, of Abu Lahab were destroyed. Watabba, and so was he. Like this is the Hua Nasara version. Yeah. And he was destroyed too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody see that? So he like died? It's this is Allah calling for his destruction before he's destroyed. Uh, okay. And he was one of the most powerful men in Mecca and he had a hot temper. He was also called Abu Lahab, not just because his hair was all red, whatever, mm -hmm. but he used to go super saiyan too. He used to get really angry. Uh -huh, yeah. And he's a very arrogant, angry man. Mm -hmm. And Allah says he and when somebody's hands get destroyed, you know what that means? Mm -hmm. Imagine a boxer or a warrior whose hands have been destroyed. What does that mean? The hands are broken. They can't fight. Yeah. Because what do you need to fight? Your hands. You need your hands. Mm -hmm. so if your hands are gone, you're powerless, right? Mm -hmm. So Allah says he's been destroyed to the point, he's been made completely powerless. His mm -hmm. weapons, his power has been destroyed. And then he as a result, he himself has been. Destroyed, yes. and all of this was said before he was destroyed mm -hmm. because the Quran was guaranteeing this is coming to him because of the way he's treated the Prophet. So, and he could, you know, he could have survived, and then the Quran would be proven wrong, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. But he was Allah called for it that he's gonna get wrecked, mm -hmm. okay? So, wrecked. Tabbat yada abi lahabin, watab. all right, so coming back to Ab. Mm -hmm. Abun is heavy. Yes. Mariam, could you tell me the light version of Abun? Abu. Oh yeah, why hiya? Somebody asked this question. I didn't answer it. That's that's an important question because we're talking about the ayah. Tabbat, yada, so on and so forth, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, why is she being used? Well, a long time ago, when you were much younger, mm -hmm. there was page twelve, yes. which was feminine because the Arabs said so. Said so. Mm -hmm. Then there was also body parts that are in pairs mm -hmm. are feminine. Yes. Body parts that are in pairs and are feminine. feminine. Is yad a body part that is in pairs? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it is feminine. feminine. Therefore, the but is she. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then she got replaced. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's why. Good job. Body parts in pair. Good job. Well, tabba is not an ism, tabba is a past tense also. Like tabbat, the, the masculine version is tabba. Okay, now come back to Abu. Abun, give me the light version, Madhya. Abu. Like this? No. Then? Uh, wait, what? What's the light version? Abu. With the wow? No, uh, yeah. Yes. And Aban? Light version? Abba. Good job. Uh, Abin, light version? Abi. Abi. Mm -hmm. Yawma yafirru al-mar'u min akhihi wa ummihi wa abi. abihi. Yarrad al-tanween on the... Where's the tanween? The aban. Yeah, that was the heavy version. Oh, okay. And this is the light version. Oh. So, Akhi, mm -hmm. remember Akhu, mm -hmm. Akha, Akhi. Yeah. And then the he part means his. It's a mm -hmm. mudaf mudaf yeah. Um So, Akhi, he is a mudaf mudaf ilay. His brother. Yes. Ummihi, his mother. Mm -hmm. Abihi, what uh, does it mean? His father. His father. The, the, all of them are jar because there's a min in, in uh, before all of them in the ayah. So, min. Min means from, mm -hmm. and min makes the next word jar. Yeah. That's why instead of ahu and acha, it becomes what? Akhi. Akhi. Yusuf alayhi salam says, 
وهذا أخي هذا أخي yeah. just أخي there's nothing more just أخي what does that mean هذا هذا what does E mean at the end of a word E uh, it's two it's... no E like أنا becomes E oh my هذا أخي my brother yeah what does هذا mean هذا uh... Remember pointers? Hada yeah, hada ni ha ulai. There are pointers. So uh, this. This. Hada means this. This. Is there al after it? No. When there's no al after a pointer, you put is. Yes. Hada achi means what? This, this is, is my brother. brother. Yusuf said, "This is my brother." He helped Bil Yamin. This is my brother. He said that because um, his dad had multiple wives. Mm -hmm. Yaqub alayhi salam, and he, for with each wife he had different children. Mm -hmm. And so Yusuf and Binyamin were from the same mom. Yeah. But his other brothers were from different moms. Mm -hmm. You know how they say in English, my brother from another mother? Yeah. That's what the, he had. He had a lot of brothers from another mother. Yeah. From multiple, actually. Mm -hmm. So all the other brothers that were from a different mom hated these two because they were from a different mom. Oh, okay. And when they put Yusuf in a well, mm -hmm. Binyamin was still, you know, there, a baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as he was growing up, they they didn't have Yusuf to bully anymore. So mm -hmm. who did they bully? Bin Yamin. Bin Yamin. All these years they bullied Bin Yamin, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Beat him up, insulted him, made fun of him, didn't treat him like their brother, all that stuff, right? And then finally, when Bin Yamin came to Egypt and mm -hmm. secretly, well, Yusuf was already the minister, basically yeah. the king. Mm -hmm. He told, he pulled Bin Yamin in and said, uh, I'm Yusuf. Oh. And he's like, and he started crying. Mm -hmm. And he told his brother all the mean things they've been doing all these years. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And he says, La tabta ispi ma kanu yamalun. Don't be sad anymore. Don't be don't be miserable anymore because of what they used to do. They can't hurt you no more. So he kept him with him, right? Mm -hmm. So he kept him with him. But eventually the brothers didn't realize that that's Yusuf they're dealing with. Mm -hmm. And now his brother's with him. Yeah. It's time to get some revenge. Mm -hmm. But Yusuf Sam didn't do that. So when they all reunited, yeah. and they're like, they're coming in front of the king and who they think is the minister, the king, but it's Yusuf. Yeah. And they have no idea. And they're desperate and they're begging him because they're out of food mm -hmm. and their house is they're selling their furniture to eat food. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And they come in front of Yusuf and he says, You know, do you know what you did to Yusuf and his brother? Mm -hmm. And they're like, How do you know about Yusuf? That was so long ago. And mm -hmm. Even our dad doesn't know what we did with Yusuf. Yeah. Nobody knows. And how does he know what we've been doing with his, our brother? Yeah. Because the brother snitched on them. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. And how would he know what they did with Yusuf? Because he is Yusuf. Yeah. You did it to me, bro. Literally, bro. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. So they're like, they stare at him. And they're like, you're Yusuf. He says, I know Yusuf. I am Yusuf. Wahaba uh -huh. akhi. <laughs> And this is my brother. Is my brother, meaning you've been messing with the wrong guy's brother. Yeah. So they're like, "What's he gonna do? Oh my God, we've been messing with the king's brother, <laughs> you know." And it's an epic, epic scene. But this, the, just those words are so powerful, right? Because mm -hmm. yeah. as if he's saying, "Do you guys realize who you've been bullying? My brother." The armies of Egypt belong under the power of Yusuf salam. The authorities, the police, the governance. He's on the throne. They're the beggars. And he's saying, you've been messing with my brother. And you first you mess with me. Then you mess with my brother. It's messed up. Yep. And then well, you know what they did even before, with it, before they even knew it? Mm. They didn't even know it. And they said, oh, if he's accused of... Because the Binyamin got falsely accused of stealing, right? Yeah. They're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, what well, figures... He stole. He had a brother who had a stealing problem too. Mm -hmm. Who are they talking about? Yusuf. Yusuf. And he, Yusuf is the judge. Mm -hmm. And they're telling the judge, yeah, he had a brother. Man, he, he's, he was a thief too. Yeah. <laughs> and Yusuf was like, Asarraha Yusuf fi nafsihi. Yusuf kept it a secret. Didn't let the, sh the face show. Mm -hmm. You guys don't watch cartoons and stuff and movies and things. Yeah, so I, I don't know. Because, you know. Um, <laughs> Some people I know are really into anime yeah, and all kinds of, you know, mm -hmm. evil. But in some of those old cartoons I used to watch, you know what the most common thing is? When you hear something that shocks you, you go, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
You know, there's some reaction. Yeah. There's no reaction. Mm. He kept it deep inside. Mm. Complete poker face, like he's not affected by what they said. Yeah. Anyway, love the story. Too epic. Anyway, Ikhwaton, I said, mm -hmm. is the plural. Yeah. Okay. Ikhwaton means brothers. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at this ayah. لَقَدْ كَانَ فِي يُوسُفَ وَإِخْوَتِهِ This is in the Quran. لَقَدْ كَانَ فِي يُوسُفَ وَإِخْوَتِهِ آيَاتٌ لِسَّائِلِينَ That's what the ayah is. Mm -hmm. Now, fi is a harf of? Jar. So how come Yusuf is not jar? Uh, because, um, uh, hmm. is it broken plural? No. Close. Yusuf is one person. Yeah. Because so it's definitely not plural because that would mean there's lots of Yusufs. Mm -hmm. No. Like a Yawasif. No. No. Uh, because it's a name. Uh, close. Closer. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, because the Arab said so? Uh, no. You're going in the wrong direction now. It's a name. What kind of name? What you, kind? It's a non-Arab name. It's a non-Arab name. Which is partly... Flexible. Which means the Rafa version ends with... Uh, Yusufa. No, not uh. Yusufa. 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 Rafa version ends oh, with... Yusufa. Yusufa. No, uh, no. Rafa ends with U. Oh, Yusufu, Yusufa, Yusufa. Right. Yeah. Yusufu, yeah. Nasab Yusufa, yeah. Jar also. Yusufa. And this is a harf of Jar. Mm -hmm. And it cannot do any better than that because yeah. it's a foreign name. Mm -hmm. Therefore, Yusufa. Yeah. Well done. Mm -hmm. And Wa means what? Why, uh, and. And, yeah. and remember one thing about and. Whatever status used to be before it, mm -hmm. and will have to be carrying the same status after it. Oh, okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if it was jar before it, jar and fill in the blank, jar. Yeah. Nasab and fill in the blank, nasab. Rafa and fill in the blank, rafa. Here it's jar. Why is it jar? Because of fee. So ikhwa had to be jar. Mm -hmm. So ikhwa, ti. In Yusuf and in his brothers. Oh, in his brothers. Now where's the his? It's the he. Yeah. He is an attached pronoun. Mm -hmm. Attached pronouns and isms always become mudaf and mudafile. So ikhwatihi, his brothers. Now, mm -hmm. the question some students have. Now I can answer your question about ikhwa and the tamar buta on it. Mm -hmm. uh, the word ikhwatun, what did I say it means? Brothers. Right. Is that, let's go back to something old we did a while ago. It's been two intensives already. So you need a reminder. Yeah. It's a plural. Mm -hmm. How do I know that? Uh, because the meaning, the meaning? Mm -hmm. okay. Then I have to ask myself: Is a this a uh, masculine plural? Is this a feminine plural? Is this plural because the Arab said so? Is this human broken plural? Is this non-human broken plural? I got these options. Mm -hmm. Masculine plural means it ends with una ina. Is it? Uh -uh. Feminine plural means it ends with aton atin. Is it? Yes. No. It ends with aton. No. Oh, no, no, no. And it's a human broken mm -hmm. plural. It's not hu not non-human. Yeah. I mean, some brothers aren't, but yeah. <laughs> generally speaking, yeah. human human broken plural, right? So, yeah. So it's a human broken, broken plural. plural. And when you get that far, mm -hmm. when you get to a human broken plural, you get two answers in Arabic. Yeah. You get one F. Mm -hmm. Oh, we also have to check if it doesn't have a combination. Or three. We already did. Yeah. Reality. Three reality. Mm -hmm. Which means. Three masculine. Yeah. Ma I'm saying masculine because brothers are ma males. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Broken plurals can be treated one feminine or mm -hmm. three masculine. Mm -hmm. When you get to human broken plurals, you get those two answers. Mm -hmm. Okay. One feminine is the grammar cor cor correct one, and then reality. three M is the reality one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. So that's enough for special isms. So now let's talk about du a little bit. Mm -hmm. Rafa du. Yeah. Nasb the. Jar the okay, mm -hmm. okay. Now, this is always a mudaf, yeah, which means the next word is always a mudaf, which means the next word is always what status, jar. always jar. These guys could be rafa, like the, mm -hmm. it could be the, mm -hmm. and it could be the okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a tough word, uh, and I do need you to know, well, I'll teach you a little by little of it. The, the, the. Mm -hmm. Like Dhul Qarnayn. I've heard of Dhul Qarnayn. Yeah. Qarnayni is Aini. Could mm -hmm. be Nasab or Jar. Yeah. Definitely Jar here. Mm -hmm. Because Dhul. If I said, if I somebody asked, is Dhul Qarnayni Rafa Nasab or Jar? I would say it's Rafa because the Mudaf is Rafa. Mm -hmm. 
What's the Nasab version of Dhul Karnaini? Dhul Karnaini. What's the Jar version of Dhul Karnaini? Dhul Karnaini. Dhul Karnaini. So Rafa, Dhul Karnaini. Nasab, Dhul Karnaini. And Jar? Yeah, Dhul Karnaini. Okay. Yes, uh, listen to me carefully and tell me what status was used. Listen again. The truck how parked yes, outside, the third truck parked outside, the crate was. over the third crate. That's that's Jar. 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 You know that one, Mariam. Third one is Jar. Okay. And listen again. Wait, now you have to listen carefully and tell me why it's Jar. Because An um, is light. Uh, An is An An not An An. Oh. Oh, it's a half of Jar. That's right, which is why the became Jar. وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنْ ذِي الْقَرْنَيْنِ قَالُوا يَا ذَا الْقَرْنَيْنِ إِنَّ يَأْجُوجَ وَمَأْجُوجَ مُفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ قَالُوا يَا ذَا الْقَرْنَيْنِ Just look at what I'm saying. Don't even worry about the screen right now. قَالُوا يَا ذَا الْقَرْنَيْنِ What status is that? That's a nasab. Yeah. Because they're calling him. When you call a mudaf, it becomes nasab. Ya ذَا الْقَرْنَيْنِ Mm -hmm. They said, Dhul Qarnayn. Okay? Yeah. If, if you're a friend named Abdullah, you, if you're going to call him in Arabic, you won't say, Ya Abdullah. You'll say, Ya Abdullah. Yeah. Ya Abdullah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Same way. Okay, now let's go back. Let's add some things to your knowledge of the thus. Man, time flies. An hour's already over? Mm hmm we can go over more. Allahu Akbar. It's okay. I got to finish this with you though. Yeah. Even though we didn't read chapter two today. Thu, the, the. That's the singular. Mm -hmm. Okay. The wa, the way. Well, the wa got ugly. Instead of ani, ani, ani. It's just a, 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 because they're always a mudaf, so the mm -hmm. new never happens. Yeah. So the wani, the waini, the waini. And the plural was going to be muslimuna, muslimina, muslimina, right? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like that, except there's no u, uh, the, there's no nun at the end. So they say mm -hmm. the wu, the, wu. the, wa. the we, oh, the we. What game system do you have? The we. The we. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> so, the 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 that's singular. Mm -hmm. The wa the way the way, and then the wu the we the we. The 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 the. Start there. Abu aba abi. Aku aha aki. The the the. Okay. Abawani abawaini abawaini. Akhawani akhawaini akhawaini. Now, the wani the wani the wani. You see the same thing happening? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. It was Abu Aba Abi, Ahu Aha Ahi, Dhu Dhavi. Then it was Abawani Abawaini Abawaini, Ahawani Ahawaini Ahawaini. And now what is it? Uh, the the wani. wani. The Wani, the Wani, the Wani. And finally, the Wu, the, the Wee, the Wee. The Wu, the Wee, the Wee. Yes, the Wu, the Wee, the Wee. Okay. So what does that all mean? Dhu means possessor of, the means possessor of, the means possessor of. The Wa means. P two possessors of mm -hmm. and the we uh, or the way the way two possessors of nasab and jar mm -hmm. and then the wu mm -hmm. is possessors of mm -hmm. and the we is also possessors of yeah and then some mudafile will come after them okay mm -hmm. so dhu the 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 wa the way the way the wu the we the we mm -hmm. we'll add to that inshallah tomorrow when we do the um the, the feminine the again page 10.